Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in this video tonight is from a viewer that asked me how to easily center three lines of text and I just made up these texts and uh, in, in one name badge and then be able to, to change the, the name of the person and recenter it. Well, there's a way you could do it, but the quickest way would be to just if you just need to make a couple of name badges, get this one about where you want it. Get this bottom one about where you want it in height. Doesn't really matter in left to right. But let's say you want it right there, and now you want them all even. So select everything but your red hairline, and go up to Object, uh, Align and Distribute, Align and Distribute, and right here it will center all three of those in relation to each other. Now we want to maybe center them more evenly up to down. So you press this right there to center, center vertically. And a lot of times with big text and little text, it doesn't look right. And that's just personal preference. You could actually nudge it up just a hair to your preference or whatever you think it's going to be. Now, the problem was she wants to now change this name to, you know, a shorter name. So we'll go with Bill Smith and hit enter. And now you see Bill Smith is all the way over. We don't want to mess with this. We want all the name badges to be the same. And matter of fact, you could actually lock these and, and so you wouldn't make sure. But now we need to find the center of this box of our name tag and what I would suggest is take your and just do it manually take you an indexing line and get right on your line and it's gonna I don't know if you can see that on your screen but it says midpoint so now that line is right in the center of our name tag as you can see the the node right there then you can just take this and don't move it left or, or up and down Holding down your shift key and moving down your arrow, moving your arrow key over will nudge it faster because my nudge is set real low. So I'm holding down the shift key and it'll actually nudge it. And then I can take off the shift, the shift key and make it a little less movement. But that's how I would do just a couple of name tags. There's ways to make it a lot faster. But if you're just needing to do a couple of name tags, that's the way to do it. And I always would suggest this, control G to make your duplicate. Find out how wide your name tag is. It's 3.2. Change your nudge distance at 3.25. Control D, make your duplicate and move it over. Couple of reasons. When you, whoop, didn't mean to do that. When you put it in the laser, one, you wasted the least amount of wood. But two, these are exactly equal. So when it's engraving, it it'll be just it'll be a lot faster. Uh, if 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 it's not like that, and I've shown this in videos before, and you just have it just minutely down, then it's going to start over here and do Bill Smith, and then it's going to run and do both Bill Smiths till it hits the this region, and it's going to go back. And, uh, it'll save you a lot of time. So, but since they are all both through grouped together, you can select them both and hit T on your keyboard and put it to the top. Anyway, I hope that helped that young lady, and thank you for watching.